Since 1999, more than 130,000 people have been killed or injured by landmines and other explosive remnants of war. Landmines laid by warring factions in Colombia and Afghanistan, cluster munitions left by long forgotten wars in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, and improvised explosive devices planted by ISIS and other terrorist organizations. These deadly devices still haunt millions, continuing to disrupt daily life. They kill and maim civilians, inhibit peace and stability, and prevent economic development from taking place. But thanks to the United States government, which leads the world in funding for humanitarian demining, we are putting an end to this danger and building a safer, more secure world. With U.S. support, tens of thousands of heroic deminers work tirelessly to identify and remove thousands of explosive hazards each year. This saves lives and transforms communities. It opens safe access for homes, schools, and hospitals to be built. It allows children to play outside without fear and can even protect wildlife. These amazing programs allow people to plant crops on their land sometimes for the first time in decades and enables families to return safely after conflict. Because of the dedication from the U.S. government to mine action, people across dozens and dozens of countries have received a risk education so they can stay safe and survivors of mine accidents have received the rehabilitative care they need. These programs also enable the security of vulnerable stockpiles of weapons and ammunition to make sure these weapon systems don't fall into the wrong hands, endangering the U.S. military and our allies. The enormous progress made towards achieving a mine-free world in partnership with other countries is something that all Americans can be proud of. This part of my job, I visit all of the minefields within the provinces. This minefield is, as you can see, very close to a railway line and incredibly close to a village, so it's really important that we're here. And each one of those white sticks is a mine that we have found and destroyed, and in this case, almost 200 in this minefield. You can see in the middle of the picture there, there's a large metal mine. If that was to explode, it could kill anyone within about 25 meters. شغلة إنسانية مية بالمية يعني خليني أنا أم هالشي هال هالشي الملوس بالأرض هالشي الخطير المخبى بالأرض كرمال اللي حكينا عنه كرمال أولاد يكونوا عم يلعبوا كرمال عائلة تكون بالبرية كرمال ما يصير معه شيء كرمال مثل ما قلت لي كمان حيوانات شو ما كانت الحيوانات مهم بالنهاية دي الله خلق يعني كمان وفيها روح فكل أيات هيدا as the U.S. seeks ways to provide positive leadership across the globe, demining programs stand as a shining example. This impactful aid offers security to some of the world's most vulnerable communities. As you watch this video, deminers wearing U.S. flags across the globe are hard at work, providing families with a path to prosperity. And despite the challenges of the pandemic, they remain steadfast in their commitment to build better futures for the millions who have suffered from conflict. The pandemic has dramatically changed the world we live in, but it hasn't stopped us. Demining organizations are often called upon in a crisis. And this year, we've looked to new ways to support the communities we serve. 
The work of a demining organization is to address explosive hazards. But with U.S. support, in this extremely difficult year, we have been so much more. Mine Action is giving families across the world a future free from violence, fear, and poverty. But we need your help to make an even greater impact. This is what U.S. leadership looks like. Will you join us?